Hi everyone, it's Diane from Owl's Treasures. Today I'm going to do Dragon's Blood from Essential Depot. I have not used this fragrance before. It's an experiment, but you can see it's really dark. So I also have um, stabilizer two to one in here. Stabilizers from Nature's Garden. And I have pink lemonade, blue green, and pink carnation from Mica some more. I don't know how these are going to work since the fragrance there is awfully dark, but dragon's blood flowers are normally like pink and red. So I also have some titanium dioxide so we will see how it goes this is my lye water my oils have kale and clay lye water has sea salt One thing I don't like about Essential Depot is they don't give you a lot of information, so I don't know if it rises or accelerates. I will say this is the best smelling dragon's blood that I've had so far. So far. So we'll see what color it turns and hopefully all goes well. I'm going to start by putting the fragrance in so I can see what color I end up with. I'm not going to have any hope for coloring. So, I think we're going to just add titanium to part of it just so we can get a little color contrast. This is definitely too dark for any color. I kind of thought that might happen, but I had hopes. Other than that, it's behaving very nicely. get a decent contrast there.
wondering what I would get if I add some of the pink here. rather pretty. Smells great. Nicely. I had separated out some before I put the fragrance in. That would be very workable. The scent is amazing. I love the way it smells.
I just realized I forgot to put my gloves on again. They're sitting over there. I'm about 50 50 on remembering, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Safety is good, but I do forget. Gloves are fairly new to me for soaping. Just so used to doing it with no gloves. 40 years ago, you didn't, uh, didn't worry about wearing gloves. So, been doing it a little while. If you're new to soaping, though, I definitely recommend gloves and goggles. It's definitely wise. I do try to remember, just not always successful. is at least nice. <laughs> Little bit of rose. It's like rose with rust, basically. See how that looks. Oops. 
It's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. All right, we will leave that alone for the moment and uh, we will be back for the cutting. This will sit for 24 to 48 hours. That was just rubbing alcohol that I sprayed on it. Well, it's been two days and overall I'm very happy with how the dragon's blood turned out. A little sorry I didn't put green inside. The stabilizer actually worked pretty well. Still a little brown, but not the huge rust color which the rest would have been okay too, but I think this turned out really pretty. I do like the green mica on top. I like the way the scent turned out. I don't really smell chemical or anything like that. It just is a nice scent. I would definitely try this one again. I, if I tried it again, I might try and work with the natural color rather than using so much stabilizer and see what you got that way. Stabilizer doesn't hurt anything, but it is rather expensive. I think a 16 ounce jar is like $18 plus shipping and tax and whatever. So I don't mind using it, but I don't like to use it too often. So you just don't have a choice unless you're going to work with the color. You definitely need it for, like, say, cotton candy. Most of the cotton candies turn brown. And I don't know about you, but I don't know any cotton candy that uh, I would want to eat if it was brown. So, it's kind of how I look at it for the soaps also. If I'm making cotton candy. <coughs> I want it to look like cotton candy, basically. Well, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when another video of mine goes up, Hit the little bell. And have a great day. Thank you for watching.